Challenging platformers have been a pretty niche genre lately. Sure, games like Super Meat Boy will get a lot of attention in the mainstream media, but for the most part, the platformers that ask you to try over and over again to get a perfect score maintain their cult appeal. It's not too hard to point out why, honestly. A whole lot of people simply don't enjoy having to try the same thing over and over again, and you know what, that's fine. For those of you that do enjoy insane platforming challenges, well, hang on to your butts, cause this one's a doozy. Developed by Landfall, the same devs that made another one of my favorite games, Air Brawl, Cluster Truck is a game about jumping across moving trucks in some of the most ridiculous situations you can imagine. As you play, levels will not only get more challenging, but also more insane. It starts off fairly reasonable, all things considered, with you surfing a river of trucks through a desert. Then, you know, you're jumping through spinning rings at Mach 15 or something, and using superpowers that you unlock to get to the end of some American Gladiator tier obstacle course. So. Yeah, it's fairly standard real-world business. All jokes aside, Cluster Truck is a bananas game that's as fun as it is difficult. The physics and situations you find yourself in are so out of this world bonkers that it's hard not to laugh even as you die over and over again. Something of note is that while the game relies heavily on physics simulations to work how it does, the physics aren't 100% the same all the time. I've run the same level multiple times and I've noticed that there can sometimes be minor differences in how trucks navigate and what they run into. They're never massive, troublesome variances, but it's worth noting that they do exist. As you complete levels, you'll earn style points. These are used to unlock special abilities that you can then switch around between levels. You can only have two equipped at a time and they're all pretty varied, so it's definitely worth unlocking them all. The bits of icing on top of this absolutely bananas cake? Cluster Truck comes with two really awesome features. One is Twitch integration for streamers that allows their viewers to vote on modifiers that take effect as soon as voting ends. It's always really cool when games do stuff like this. Things that get audiences active and involved are are great. Secondly, Cluster Truck has a level editor, so players can actually make their own stages. The workshop is already filled with levels, and it doesn't look like we're gonna run out of them anytime soon. The editor itself is pretty solid so far, and they're still working on it. Some of the levels that I've played from the workshop have been really creative, so I'm pretty excited to see how the editor gets improved. The biggest hangup that Cluster Truck has is its performance. I have a lot of frame rate issues with the game, plain and simple. The first time I actually hit a stable 60 frames per second was on one of the community-made levels. It's understandable, to a certain extent anyways, that a game with so many physics calculations and objects moving around at any given moment will have some problems maintaining a solid frame rate. But I feel that the devs could have done a better job on it. Not a massive issue, again, but an issue nonetheless. Cluster Truck is a balls-to-the-wall, no-holds-barred platformer that'll stick a smile on your face the entire time you're jumping around semi-trucks like an idiot. You can pick it up on Steam for about 15 bucks. If you're into that sort of thing, then, I mean, just, just check it out. It's fun. Just just go. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Indie Bites. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. Be sure to check out the other content that we put out on this channel and remember to drop me a line here on Twitter or through email with any game recommendations that you've got. You can find all that stuff down in the description below. I'll see you next time. Bye!